everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula and guys, I'm here today to close out my month of May expenses for my food and um, drive through and house categories. Those are the categories that I really wanted to um, keep an eye on um, with my spending, right? So the food is pretty much anything from groceries. Sometimes it's drive through So my drive through and my food category might be mixed in sometimes. And then our household, I decided to include that in this tracker as well. I may, um, may change that for, for June, but I'm not quite sure. But I'm super excited, y'all, because I have some money's left in our food um, envelope. It's not a whole lot, but I'm excited because food category, drive through, you know, takeout, eating out, I'm always going over, right? So if you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you so much for taking out the time to watch this video. Um, my channel is all about budgeting, saving. Um, we are in the process of saving for a purchase of our new home. Um, we live with my sister. We are um, just a big, big happy family and I am budgeting savings. I have three kiddos who um, are in school. So that's three different schools, elementary, middle and high school. But as of next school year, I'll have two high schoolers and one elementary. So I'm moving on up, moving on up and moving on out. <laughs> that's what I want to say is moving on out, moving on out. So I'm excited. Um, so we're entering in summer months, which this, I'm glad that we're closing this out because June, you may see more um, expenses going on because the kids will be home um, for the summer. Um, even though they're going to be active, we've got two my, of my oldest will be working and then my youngest is going to be in summer camps and swim camps and things like that but my shopping might be different because of course they're going to be home more often than the school hours right so it might be more to come for the month of june but i wanted to do this real quick hopefully it won't take too long but i wanted to let you all see what i did and hopefully i can explain this to you guys so um i do want to say thank you so much for my returning watchers viewers subscribers thank you so much for checking in on me today um update on dad dad's doing a lot better he has been trans um ported over to the physical therapy um center that's on site with the, the the hospital so i do like that like if anything happened um you know they're not like across town or anything everything is right there on site on campus um so he is he has started his physical therapy he is moving he's being opened and um accepting you know the the physical therapy um if you haven't noticed in in my past videos my dad can be just a little bit stubborn right so but he's doing better he's he's gotten better um he's actually starting to walk a little bit he does need his neck brace um due to the extent of the actual accident without me going into major details he will be um wearing that um headpiece or headgear for a while we are so excited and so very grateful and thankful to you all who have sent out well wishes and prayers of encouragement and hoping that dad gets better thank you guys so very much we appreciate it um it's just amazing how much you all not only support in the budgeting, you know, realm of things or scheme of things, but you also, we also support each other in our personal lives. And I want to say thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for praying for him. He's getting better. Dad's on a um, road to recovery and doing better. And they're actually talking about um, him possibly going home if he can continue with his therapy sessions and doing, you know, making good progress. So. 
that's really great thank you guys so much so let's get right into this um just want to make sure that i'm not leaving out anything oh if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button so you can receive all the notifications of all of my videos that i post um oh and one little thing and i'll probably say this again at the end but i um am a subscriber to budgeting um april she is doing a um budgeting community link it's hashtag bcl i'm gonna try to post it up here you guys um it's a wonderful idea and wonderful thing that she's doing in the budgeting community especially to us new um channels and and um youtube budgeter channels that you know we all have it you know just kind of knitting us closer together i've learned um and subscribed to some new budgeters while i've been watching um budgeting um april and it's april with a y she's awesome she's very down to earth she's very straightforward i love the way that she budgets and she talks about her family you can really tell that the the love is genuine um and it's just amazing that she thought of this wonderful idea to um, connect us all together so i'm gonna put that there i'm gonna hashtag it down in my subscript um in my descriptions and you, you know you guys just just you know let's just come together let's just support each other and i think that was the big concept the big idea that she had in mind um and i'll just continue to mention her throughout my videos okay so i want to say thank you so much april for bringing us together it, it's amazing um let me see if i can zoom in you guys i'm working with something a little bit new with my um recording my wonderful son he's amazing and awesome however he was over by my um, camera equipment and ring light setup and by accident broke a portion a part of it so we're working with what we have I don't think it's bad um, so yeah you <laughs> when you have kids it just it comes with the territory right so let's get started so you'll see here the beginning of april right about the, the looks like the third i noted made some notations of um my deposits and that is in each category so i deposited food monies household drive through and impact if you are new to my channel impact means that is a time where my teenage daughters um, are a part of a youth group at the church and they meet twice a month and so those two nights are super super busy and so we I, I started an envelope I made an envelope for uh, monies so that we can drive through I could have left it in drive through but I want to specifically have a separate um, section for that those two nights so you'll see where um, I added those in you guys I'm gonna see if I can't get yeah get a little bit closer um, so that's what impact means that's um, impact session youth night um, I put monies into the envelopes there household got some more and drive-through looks like it got some more so I had a total with those categories what food drive-through impact night and household had a total of two hundred and sixty five dollars run about the beginning of the month so that covered my extra income and my first pay period my, I always say pay period but my first paycheck so you can see here where um, there were some deductions and I just th drew a line through it now what I didn't do because some nights and maybe I'll get better at it is actually right in my transaction like where I was what what you know drive through we went through um, food could have been like the grocery store so I couldn't sometimes when you're kind of in the moment I did not go back and take out time to write down what was what um, I did just put drive through that was like impact session and I just made a note there that that was impact so you can see the deductions right kind of got to where on the 18th right before I got my second pay period my see I said again my second paycheck we were down to like zero so I'm gonna put like a little star there just so you guys can see 
and maybe I will color code it but I gotta figure out what colors I want to use and all that stuff so right now we're just looking at row by row so um I do plan it is my goal to make this more intentional and more like detailed so this is my I think this is my first or second one that I really completed and I want this to be an ongoing and I could possibly include other categories as I go okay so we were down to like zero but we had gotten groceries and we were eating good we, nobody was hungry <laughs> so you know things were taken care of we were just down to zero kind of right at on the 18th by the 18th we didn't have any monies left anywhere then I got paid there so then the increase came the deposits were made in the food in the drive through and in household so then it brought it back to back up to two hundred and fifty five dollars um, just like do an arrow right and I could color code it later but yeah so that's where um it brought it back up and then we just started to I started to make notation here I did say that we I went to food lion and I must say I think this was a trip that my daughter took right so now she has her car she's she's like running my errands for me and I'm so y'all I'm I was so waiting for this moment in my life right she was probably waiting for the moment in her life but I was waiting for the moment in my life where I can just say here's the list take the food envelope money take my membership um food line is a grocery store here take my membership card and take this this list and get the groceries and it just you know some days i like going to the grocery store but some days it's like the pits right i hate it and especially if you're going at a certain time of the day when everybody <laughs> everybody and they mama <laughs> is there um but yeah i, I just took her that day well she actually drove that day and we got some groceries it didn't seem like it was much so we might may have only needed just a couple of things to go with dinner um for the next couple of days and you can see where you know i made the deductions uh calculations um and then i went to walmart and did a shopping trip now i actually did that one myself spent a hundred dollars um and i think i got some things for Memorial Day um, so that happened left us with 116 I went to BJ's BJ's is like our like a Sam's or warehouse like Costco and so I did a mixture there it looks like I did food and household items um, and so I spent now this is just rounding up you can see I don't enter in like the change and so I just bump it up so it was about 110 there um, and that included, like I said, some household items. And um, I did keep my receipts, and and then I took it, took the receipts, and then made the um, the what place the place the transactions. I don't know why my brain is like going blank right now, but you know, made the transactions and just kind of filled it in um, here in the workbook. So it says that I have six dollars remaining and y'all I have exactly six dollars I'm so happy y'all six dollars is awesome this envelope used to be zero <laughs> zero zero empty empty this envelope drive through envelope miscellaneous envelope <laughs> used to be empty but i did it guys for the month of may i you know we ate we did what we needed to do we cooked some nights jordan cooked for us some nights um she did she made a meal one night and it did not go like the way that she expected it to go right so i told her i said hey i'm gonna zoom out some guys um i told her i said you know some nights it's like that sometimes when you cook you have a, a meal in mind and you're like oh that that's gonna be great and then it turns out to be like 
not so great right so she was a little bit disappointed but i told her that's just how cooking is sometimes we ate it we did not go hungry and so the job was done sometimes you when you're cooking it's like the point is to not be hungry so we ate and our bellies were full and it was not disgusting <laughs> lauren is my oldest and you know she has major allergies she didn't break out with anything so that was good um so yeah we did great for the month of may i'm so excited we've got some extra monies y'all that's a big accomplishment for me so i want to say yay um that we've got some you know some extra money that we have here that I will probably put probably in one of my sinking funds or house category envelopes, something like that, right? But um, yeah, this is just it. I just wanted to sh come on and share with you all that um, we had some monies left over and just to kind of walk through my transactions for the month of May, my goal is to have this a little bit more detail and possibly increase the categories or add add in the some more categories so we can keep a track in June and going forward um, what my expenses are. It really does help me see what happens to the money to to the money, right? And I just have to remember to go back and fill this information in if not nightly or daily maybe at the end of the week and maybe I could even post a video at the end of every week maybe uh, we'll see guys I don't know we'll see uh, if I'm going to be able to squeeze a video in that way but you guys give me some advice let me know what you all do um as far as how you track do you actually fill in your tracker every day or every couple of days how do you guys do your monthly expense tracker i need some help i really want to continue this thing um because it's paying off i'm actually saving i'm actually not doing a lot of spending so thank you guys so much for watching hope it wasn't too long um I'm going to be doing some budget with me videos coming up soon. So you guys, I do want to let you know that I did have a, um, I took out some monies. It wasn't a lot for my house categories for my last paycheck, but because the amount was so small, it was really teeny tiny. Um, not, you know, and, and that's fine. I was able to pull out some monies for those categories. I'm going to combine it with my, um, income my extra income and my first paycheck videos and do a cash stuffing for my house categories so that's the one that you guys didn't get a chance to see because i didn't film it it was really small um so yeah i just wanted to let you all know that thank you guys so much for taking out the time to watch this video i hope it was helpful it was fun for me to share this information i'm so excited you guys have a great rest of your day and i will talk to you soon Bye bye the day that you